Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video we're going to be doing some life drawing, and today we're going to focus on action poses, okay? So um, let's get started. So what I did was I just did a quick search um, on Google, and I know that, again, like in the previous video, there's a bunch of stuff that you could find on YouTube, but I just typed in action poses, and I found something that's semi-appropriate, so we're just going to use these three images right here. And what I'd like to do is to show you a way to jump off from the previous action line video. So um, what would be the logical next step to doing a good job with these crazy compact, complex poses? I would say let's start with some kind of a light color. And I'm gonna start with this one first. And I just wanna very quickly with the largest brush that I can, that I can kind of deal with, but I would say try to come up with some kind of a shape that would represent that character, okay? And part of the reason I think this is a good idea is because if you draw with some kind of a shape and you focus on a silhouette, you're not gonna draw this guy, you know, with this ninja sword and the guy kind of looks like this. You can't really tell what's happening in this pose because all we did was just flip this character around. Can't really tell what's happening. Instead, you position the camera in a way so some of these appendages are going off in a different direction. And what you wanna do is make it easy for the audience to identify what's actually happening, okay? Remember, if you were to have an action line, it would zoop, go right through there. But, um, you know, we're not gonna do the action line just yet. Remember, we're trying to figure out how do we draw? What's a good way for us to draw? And, you know, uh, like I've said before, um, there's no rules, just tools. Look up Glenn Vilpu. He's the one who coined that term um, or that phrase. Pardon me. He's the one who coined that. But, you know, it, just draw the way you want and, you know, look for different techniques that are suggested and see if they fit the way you draw. OK, so I would recommend uh, getting 30 or 40 of these poses, literally 3040. Zero, zero. And then we could go back and we could use a thinner brush. Let's go for this one now. Let's go for a thinner brush and we'll uh, we'll go back in and we'll start to make this character come to life. We'll put some edges on the character, okay? So let's get this leg a little bit forward. Let's get that leg kind of downwards. I wanna to try to leave a little gap of white paper in between. So let's get some negative space. And let's push um, the buttocks outwards. And let's get this other leg here and do that as well. So hopefully when people very quickly glance at this, they'll see like, oh yeah, those are leg and two legs, um, two legs and two feet. You know, and you know, if you kind of mess up, don't worry about it, just, just erase. You're not a machine. You don't need to be perfect. You don't have to have every single line you put down absolutely right. Because, you know, we're, we're all practicing. <laughs> we, uh, we're just trying to get better um, just by drawing as much as we possibly can. Okay, so there's our shape-based approach to drawing. So what I would do now is I would take another layer, put it on top, and I'd go for a darker brush maybe make it a little bit skinnier, because now that I have this other brush, I don't have to worry about um, um, having to fill the area. Instead, I could just, just kind of go back and start to make a lot of the form emerge from this character, okay? So now I'm gonna think about the anatomy. Oops, a little too thin. If I want to really get that action line in there, and try to figure out how this pose is gonna really come to life. One other thing to consider, and this, this tracks with some of the stuff we talked about in the previous video on the Getting Started um, playlist, um, but a lot of times you put an action line down or you'll, you'll come up with a thumbnail sketch because you need to know where to put stuff. So now that I've spent this time figuring out where you know the body is twi where it's going I can go back in and I can kind of twist stuff and I can put stuff where it needs to be so even though the action line's going down the center I could put the the belly button right here because I could start to really try to exaggerate the twist of this torso and I don't need to 100% stick to this again I'm just figuring out what's the real estate where can I put things 
So it starts to look a little bit more interesting and engaging of a drawing. Okay, so let's just finish this one and I think we can call it for this video. Um, don't need to go and watch me draw all of these, but again, you just, you, you want to go for the biggest brush that you can get your hands on. And then after you get that brush, um, you just want to map out stuff. You want to be cognizant of where the direction is. You want to think about the proportions, pardon me, proportions. And then after you get all of that stuff down, then you can go back and add some detail. If you really want to, like again, after you do 20 of these, if this is the winner, if this is the one that you like the best, no problem. All you do is, you know, you, you duplicate this layer, you drop the opacity, put a brand new one on top of it, and then you can really go to town with the anatomy and the line work to get it just right. All right, guys, hope this video was helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.